Hello, Post Standard viewer and um, all fellow, uh, sorry, hello, Post Standard video and all other uh, viewers. This is the practitioner here. Um, speaking as somebody who has Asperger's syndrome myself, um, I was wondering, Post Standard video, if you could get back in touch with Le uh, Lisa Curtis. Uh, there might be one tip which might actually help um, Derek's uh, problems in failing in math. As uh, as Lisa quite clearly stated, he has he is intelligent. Have they actually considered taking a look into extending his time on tests? Um, if he's failing math class, chances are that probably the issues are related to exam uh, are related to exams and not enough time available to actually properly d uh, do out the math. Aspies do actually have quite a higher uh, actually do have a uh, uh, high math capability in a lot of cases. Sometimes exceptionally well developed for their particular age, but if they are but if they are given the same normal time period as most um you know uh, if they're given the uh, the the same time period as most other uh, children, it'll often be a subliminal anxiety problem which will come in and thus the um the Aspie will be unable to meet um the the Aspie will worry about the time limit and not about the problem itself. Give them unlimited amount of time or double time, uh, you know, time and a half to double time, and they will often excel at math capabilities. Um, also, as well, um, bear in mind that the, uh, the the their marks in the math course may not necessarily reflect their actual level of understanding. Example of this: I got D's in my first couple of calculus courses, but uh, then I actually started getting C's, C pluses, and B's uh, afterwards uh, when I got special permission to take few further, further advanced courses. Because uh, the thing is, I actually did well on the finals, but I didn't do well during the course material because of organizational issues in relation to studying. The issues are, uh, are more so organizational based, not actually in theoretical understanding of the material. So try to see about um, expanding the time on his exams, and chances are his marks will go back up into the passing levels when it comes to mathematics. Um, you know, ab uh, I mean, considering that he was only failing, uh, he, he had dropped uh, uh, you know, below the honor roll because he had only failed math at that particular time period. Maybe the complexity was sufficiently large that you know expanding uh, expanding the time um, allowed for him might actually be beneficial and might change it between the difference of between a pass or fail. Uh, anyway, uh, that's just one issue. Um, the second thing I wanted to mention was um, I actually took a look at this guy Derek and I recognize a lot of my brother in him. Um, I have Asperger's. My brother has uh, something that's a lot closer to higher functioning autism. Uh, we both have Asperger's. It's just that the um, we had slightly different developmental cases. Um, I was pushed at a much earlier age, so I was try so I became went into a phase of hyper development. My brother, however, in order to avoid that, uh, in order to avoid that and the um, how shall we say early childhood abuse which came along with it in my case, um, stunted his development. Uh, you know, observing the situation with me in order to avoid getting the same attention from uh, my biological mother. That, our biological mother that I was getting. So, but anyway, that's another side note. The main reason I'm responding to your video is because I wanted to actually um, point out to something. Derek, yes, uh, you know, I, I applaud Derek for um, his wanting to fit in with the social system. Um, you know, and <laughs> God, I wish in my case that I had, um, my brother unfortunately uh, knows he's different, but he, uh, he really doesn't care about trying to fit into the social system because he's just trying to uh, learn to take care of himself right now, let alone uh, fit in. In my case, I am caught in a dichotomy between um, I'm caught in a dichotomy between wanting to fit in and at the same time, uh, like wanting to fit in for survival reasons, but at the same time questioning the system in which I'm trying to fit in too. Um, I'd like to um, uh, bring this up again for both uh, Lisa and for other people who um, you know who may not have a, a proper understanding of Asperger's. Oh, before I get into this, one small note to. Um, Oh God, I've forgotten his name now. The the atheist guy who did uh, the most recent parody of me, um, and to almost all my other spammers who keep calling me faggot and idiot and other stuff like that, and who apparently claim that I'm ranting or what have you. Check actually the content of what I'm saying for the most part, and you will find that chances are there is a logical argument there. Maybe sometimes I get a little overexcited, but that's the um, leave out the mo the emotional uh, leave out the um, the voice because that's just my uh, that's just the way I talk when I get excited, and. Um, uh, you know, about my grooming and the like. Just ignore that stuff because most of that's ad hominem attacks and try to pay attention to the words I'm actually saying and to the overall content of what I'm saying. And if you have a question about uh, clarification of what I'm trying to say, then by all means I'll respond to you in, in comment or in private message because I generally write better than I speak. So for those of you calling me faggot and uh, wondering why I don't wear my shirt and the like, um, I generally am questioning a lot of the basic uh, uh, taboos and uh, social standards which have been put in place since a lot of them are arbitrary and illogical. And, um, you know, it, 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 I don't really have a need for it. It's, you know, it's, it's not... You get my point. 
like I said, you know, if if it seems weird to you, it's because of my disability in a large chunk of cases. So if you're still making fun of it, even though you happen to know that I have Asperger's, chances are, what's that saying about you guys? Not me, not trying to cast asparagus on your arguments, but you know, it does seem a little bit close-minded, possibly. Anyway, that's just, I, I, I'm raising that as a possibility. I'm not deliberately saying it, because deliberately saying it might be considered hypocrisy. But anyway, okay, now that I've had my little bit of a rant on that, um, I'd like to get back and to summarize uh, some of the stuff I've been saying in my previous videos. Uh, Renate, Life After Naked Vlog, um, a lot, Illogic Still Abounds, you know, um, and, and what I've been saying for, for, God, better part of a couple of years now. You know, I often wonder, uh, this is to directly to, least, this is uh, directly to, uh, Lisa Curtis and even to other viewers. I mean, um, yes, people with Asperger's are often trying to fit in, especially you know since we know that we're out of the system. But you know, and, and we have difficulty fitting in. But maybe the question is though, should we even be wanting to fit in to a system um, which has uh, sexual taboos, which uh, you know, sexual taboos which are arbitrary, which has uh, societal and and which has a thousand different social rules, which are, are, are completely arbitrary and are supposed to be picked up through osmosis, you know, uh, through picking up body language and the like. I mean, most, and, and, and how many times can you even pick up the same signal for body language and it can mean four different things? I mean, it's, it's a miracle enough that you neurotypicals can pull it off. I mean, how the hell do you expect, you know, if you're working from, you know, I mean, what with all the vagary in the English language and the vagary in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of these social rules, you know, hell, half the time, ha uh, hell, half the time, some people will get condemned for, um, uh, will get condemned for having made a social faux pas, but the people condemning them are creating the exact same social faux pas. I mean, is that a system we really want to be in? You know, one which applies a double standard is being, you know, is being illogical. Um, I mean... Consider the social society. Consider the social system we're living in. The social system we're living in still um, still perpetrates that women have to be sexual objects. That um, that uh, uh, that science can be uh, interpreted purely based on one's own rules. Can allow for discrimination of one sort or another and jumping to uh, you know and 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 closed mindedness of anything that's weird. I mean, consider this. Why should Aspies want to fit into a system which is automatically discriminating against them in the first place because they're different? Or or doesn't... I, I saw a comment on another Aspie video less than five minutes ago about somebody saying like that, uh, that nerds and Aspies, the only reason they're even vaguely tolerated in society is because of some of the benefits they make, you know, like... Uh, like you know, like you know, scientific discoveries and the like. If it weren't for that, they would have been treated like any other person with a mental disorder and would have shoved, been shoved into an institution. You know, I mean, if, if that's a system, if that is a system, the emotional-based system which a which the human race is currently working on, um, you know, and if it, why the heck should an Aspie want to or 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 a neuro or why the heck should anybody want to fit into a system which is based on discrimination, um, lack of critical thinking, and illogic? Could somebody answer that for me, please? I mean, just because the majority of people happen to agree with it does not mean it's right. Why should an Aspie want to fit into that? <laughs> you know, why should anybody, you know, and this is the question, is why should anybody want to fit into a social system like that? Just because it's the way it is? Shouldn't we be trying to change social... I, I'm not trying to, you know, say, like, you know, change the social system so it fits to an Aspie, but that, at the very least, raises some questions that maybe we should be changing the social system in general for, for other reasons anyway. Who knows? Maybe at that point it might match something that Aspies are already used to. Maybe not. But shouldn't we be at least trying to change the social system if that's the case? And uh, to other Aspies, I'd say, you know what? Learn the social system for survival, but don't trust it or automatically desire to fit into it. I mean, if you're doing that just purely for the uh, for the uh, for the idea of acceptance, hell, Hitler. Ha um, you know, Hitler had people in Germany. Um, you know, uh, um, ready to support his idea to kill off Jews purely for acceptance. I mean, he advocated killing off Jews just to be accepted by the German people. Except just doing something just for acceptance is a form of the ad populum fallacy. Just because the majority of people believe something or assume something to be right doesn't mean it isn't. Doesn't, sorry, doesn't mean it is. I hate to say it, but work from a logical standpoint. If you want to get into it, do it for survival reasons, or do it for a reason that you see fit. Not that everyone else is saying. Anyway, that's just an opinion of one more aspect. Toodles!